This is the 15th correction we've had in this market cycle going back to 2009. And, and what we've experienced isn't even one of the largest ones. So it's a normal development in markets. I don't think it speaks to any underlying fundamental weakness. You look at the earnings report, look at the strength of the economy, the tide is still coming in for equities. So this is not the start of something bigger in your mind? No, it's not the start of something bigger. This is a buying opportunity. All right, so John, we'll go to you here. As we yep. talk about this idea that the market, are, the market is rallying for a bit, are there places that you are finding opportunities right now given the market melees? And is this something that we can believe in, this bounce today? Yeah, we, we think so, Dom. And in fact, when we wrote this week, we said we thought that in hindsight, what we saw last week was likely to be one of the best buying opportunities that investors have had in years. And uh, this may be the start of it. We'll have to see. You know, the overhang remains in terms of China, uh, U.S. trade war, and the, uh, all the worries about the Fed. But we think we get beyond those uh, as we get towards the end of the year. So we like, we like technology, we like industrials, we like consumer discretionary, uh, we like health care as a value play here with, that has growthier aspects to it. And then we also uh, have got to say we still, we still want to give financials a chance, you know, and today they look pretty good. Uh, John, I'm curious, compared to last week, I mean, were any of the reasons behind last week's volatility, the past two weeks, let's say, uh, have they been solved? Have they been resolved in your mind? And I'm asking you this because... If they haven't, they could easily come back to the four and cause another uh, leg lower in the markets, no? Oh, Melissa, I absolutely think that, that the risk is not gone out of it. In fact, the, the, the issues of, the, of, of, of a trade war becoming protracted haunt this market until we get some kind of an agreement or at least something that appears that we're leading to an agreement. Uh, and then the, the Fed, this is going to just take a while for the market to get used to uh, Jerome Powell as it always takes uh, the market to get used to it. So we'd say the vulnerabilities continue in here, but we remember 2016, and 2016 was perfectly awful first seven weeks when people were concerned about oil was plummeting and the Chinese had devalued their currency for a second time. The first time was August 2015, then they did it again in January. And, you know, this year, the Chinese yuan has dropped significantly, so all that's happened seems like the market can get over this. So, Scott, you know, Jim Cramer has been very concerned about the, uh, the sort of twin threats posed by tariffs mm -hmm. uh, and by tightening monetary policy. It's not just rising interest rates, mm -hmm. though he's pointed to that most particularly, but it's also uh, the removal of uh, qualitative, quantitative easing, mm -hmm. that, the mm -hmm. cleaning up of the balance sheet. Uh, and he's very worried about 2019, the end of this year in 2019. Why shouldn't we be? Because the history would suggest that as rates go up, the economy slows down. The level of rates is important as well. And where we are right now, the real level of interest rates is, is still pretty low, pretty accommodative even. So I, I almost share, negative, almost ne negative even. I share some of Jim's concerns, but maybe a little further out into the year 2020. And what I'm watching in 2019 and probably most concerned about is the twin inflationary effects of rising wages. We got more information on that today. Big number today. Plus the tariffs as well. And you just heard the GM report where they are able to pass those prices on. <coughs> that, that, that could be the start of something inflationary, at which point interest rates have to rise more rapidly. That becomes disruptive. But I do think it'll take a while for that to play so, out. So, so